Today, I'm looking at ammunition options for the Springfield XDS 45. It's got a 3.3 inch barrel, which is, you know, quite a bit shorter than a uh, standard duty pistol, like a, a police officer would carry a full size gun. So I'm looking at gold dots. Gold dots have a great reputation in just about every caliber. And Spear makes two nearly identical bullets, a uh, 45 auto 230 grain gold dot hollow point, standard pressure. Only this one has no other identifying marks. This is 23966 is the part number. And this one says on it that it is for short barrels, 23975. So regular gold dots for any pistol, and these are supposedly optimized for short barrels. Took a look at the bullets to find out if I can discern any difference, and they look really similar. But if you bring out the calipers and actually measure the depth of the hollow point, there is a difference. The regulars are about 0.35 inches deep to the bottom of the hollow point cavity, and the short barrels are about 0.25 inches. How does a gold dot perform from the XDS, and what do you gain by going to the short barrel version? Let's take out some clear ballistics gel and find out. We've got the results from the gold dots and there's a whole lot of gel in front of me. And that's because up top, I've got the short barrels. Down bottom, I have the regulars. And in both cases, we had bullets that penetrated clear through the first block and ended up in the second block. But in general, it seems like the short barrels penetrated about an inch further. I'll get final results when I correct for the bounce back, but just looking in the blocks, I can see that on the short barrels, all five bullets penetrated into the second block, even though most of them bounced back and, and stayed in the first block. But in the regular barrels, we only have four bullets here, one of them exited the block, but only two penetrated into the second block and pulled back. I'm gonna now, convert their distances using the Schwartz formula to find out what the real true penetration is and should have been, and we'll see how much difference there is. Using the Schwartz formula to compensate for the actual true penetration distances, we discover that the short barrels had an average of 14.75 inches of penetration, and the regular gold dots traveled an average of 13.75 inches. So, the short barrels do gain you about an inch of extra penetration as compared to the regulars. In examining the expanded bullets recovered from the gel blocks, you can see that the regular gold dots are in the front row and the short barrel gold dots are in the back row. You can see that there's a substantial difference in the cavity depth of the hollow point cavity. But what you can't really see is a whole lot of difference in expansion. They really are very close in size, but there is a difference. And the short barrel gold dots are about 3.3% smaller on average than the regular gold dots. These are examples. This is a regular gold dot, and this is a short barrel gold dot, and the petals peel back a little more completely on the short barrel. On the regular, they're expanded out just a little bit more and that results in slightly shallower penetration. All right, we've got the test results. We've got the short barrels. We've got the regulars. Which one's a better choice for the Springfield XDS? Either one. Doesn't matter. They're both fantastic. If you think that tiny extra bit of expansion is going to make a difference, get the regulars. If you think that extra inch of penetration is going to make a difference, get the short barrels. Or do what I do. Pick whichever one's in stock because either one's a great performer. Either one will serve you well. Whichever one's in stock, whichever one costs less, that'd be the way to go. Uh, it does not appear that there's really any difference in the powder or the velocity between the two rounds. When they're fired from the same barrel, they have fundamentally the same velocity. So it just appears that the 
short barrel version is designed to expand slightly smaller, which will give it deeper penetration. So maybe if you had a gun that had a significantly shorter barrel than the XDS does, you know, XDS is 3.3 inches. So maybe if you had, I don't know, two and a half inch barrel or something, then maybe the smaller expanding bullet or the short barrel would become a significant enough factor that this would still be able to deliver adequate penetration, whereas the regulars, maybe they would expand too big and maybe they wouldn't be able to penetrate enough from a really short barrel. But that's not what we were testing today. We were testing the XDS and it's 3.3 inch barrel. And in that context, either one is fine. Either one is fine. A little bit more penetration with the short barrel, but they're both great. So thanks for watching and stay tuned to my channel. We're going to have lots more ammo tests coming up and you can also follow us on Facebook and check out our blog at shootingthebull.net for even more information.